Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play People's General. Yeah, right now, General Ling and his PLA uh, Chinese forces have completed their mission of taking over the Trans-Siberian Railway and of course the highway. Um, I was wondering whether there was a highway beside the railway and yes, there is a highway probably very near to where the railway is. Kind of understandable because they have to move the you know rails and other resources and materials first by road to build a rail so it's not too far-fetched to think that there will be a road for vehicles and wheel vehicles as well alongside that you know huge transportation uh, vessel uh yeah anyways now this is time for inner siberia to feel the rumbling of the chinese tanks coming uh, across the rivers and across the mountains and General Ling has done his job in Ulanode, capital of Buryatia. Uh, Buryat meaning um, I guess the people of Mongol descent living in Russia and have their own um, well, not which their own but their name is used to designate a place and this is a different place right now uh, that General Ling finds himself following west a bit along the trans siberian Railway he now is on the left side of the big lake called Baikal. Baikal is a well-known lake. I'm sure that it is probably one of the largest lakes in Russia, if not the world. I think it is one of the largest lakes in Russia. I don't know about the world. I'm sure the Lake Superior is a bit larger, but I'm not so sure. I probably try to add a bit of information as I want to do. Uh, anyways, yes. And now he is in Inner Siberia after having acquired the help of the Mongolians I guess they have seen some of the victories that the Chinese had made and I guess wanted to um, get on with the side that they felt were stronger at the time yeah it's kind of hard to stay neutral in this fight between Russia and China and right in between those two countries wrangling anyways yeah Chinese now has the help of the Mongolians and I guess it is part of the deal was to Stabilize the northern regions now surely to be inflamed with on the round of heavy battle and I guess General Ling has done rather a marvel job of uh, Getting the Chinese into the Vladivostok area uh, Getting the Khabarovsk and other trans-siberian stuffs along the way allow the Chinese access to the Pacific with the Control of the Vladivostok, but you know the city being one of the largest in the region like hundreds of thousands of people live there with all the you know, heavy industries and whatnot. Uh, it's kind of far-fetched to think that the battle would have been over in uh, less than a week or something. Some of the missions, especially the second mission where uh, it ended up as being a brilliant victory or third one, I don't think it even took like five days because the turn is now organized into day and night. It is even shorter, some of the mission lengths, if you think about the days that were involved. So yeah, I think, you know, General Li and his forces are now leaving other Chinese administrative branch or other military paramilitary forces to deal with the situation now enveloping there. I'm surely that's not all peace and quiet. And now he involved himself in further, uh, you know, being the thrust of the Chinese offensive in other part of the Russian territory. Yeah, so he's in Irkutsk and um, they're kind of heating up in the region as well, but incidentally in real life as well. The sweltering heat has returned folks and uh, I don't know if you can hear the revving of the engine but some nice folks in the back is, I don't know, they have this uh, really nice looking 1960s Camaro and I think they're really uh, doting over it and revving the engine constantly. They want to test something else so I hope you don't mind the engine's revving background. Just think that it's a kind of Chinese um, tanks rumbling across the plains of inner Siberia. Yeah, anyways, the heat has returned and he might be dehydrated. I don't know, for the first time ever, had to maybe take a break in between if it gets a bit longer. And I'm kind of thinking that it would be because the now the United States have taken notice of the Chinese presence a bit too close for their comfort to their nearest bases in the Middle East, I believe, in Afghanistan and Iraq or something. And now they are um, actively trying to engage the Chinese on the other side of the Baikal. I guess that was their marginal line, so to speak. And then they had the deal in place. The UN could not stop the Chinese across the certain length of the trans siberian Highway that the United States will help. And now we get to face it, so it's going to be a pretty uh, harsh battle. Another thing is, I had a heck of a time 
in trying to get this one up and running. Um, I didn't really have a lot of trouble back when I started, but recently I updated a graphics driver. And what do you know, I'm using AMD, and the uh, AMD driver, I don't know whether it's true, is known to have a lot of problems. And I'm sure that, I mean, they're only focusing on the new games like Witcher 3 and, I don't know, other games are out, Batman or something. And I guess this poor people's general is kind of uh, left on the side of the road or something. Um, by the wayside, I don't know whether that's a correct term to use. Yeah, so I had a, had a lot of trouble in trying to make this run, and I think this game might crash. If that happens, it's not going to really help me in trying to get into, you know, the thick of things. I have to you know, expect different things to happen the next time I you know, try the same mission. Of course, it might give me an advantage because I know the map and the like. I don't know how I'm going to edit this sudden, you know, very incessant crashes that might happen. So I guess... Um, I edited it out, but I probably need to save this game like every turn just to make sure that I get the uh, continuity or just make sure that I get to finish the mission. And if the mission gets too difficult and I fail the mission, I'm going to go back to the first and try it again. I'm not going to use the saves that I made during the turn, so I need to make sure that which save I saved first so I can go back um, if the god forbid barrier state happens. Uh, but yeah, let's try to go ahead and very gingerly try to exchange some of the guerrilla units that I acquired as rear guard force at the tail end of the last mission. Um, I did save the game at Orkutsk and I hope that I'll be able to continue on with the you know, general lane. You can see general lane. Yep, but in a victory medal at Ulan Ude. And Road to Bloody Boston was the place where I was able to gain that important victory. Yep. Roll boosting and whatnot, and for the first time ever, I uh, have a casualty, a plane that, you know, inadvertently or very foolishly on my part, have ordered the uh, recon of the layout of the area across the, I believe it's a Salenga River, and have got in the way of three anti-air missile batteries, and it crashes. Yeah, so the game crashed once again. I need to um, come back and see uh, what I can do to make sure that this doesn't happen. I, um, yeah, sorry for this, uh, this constant crashing and then the stoppage. I, yeah, really, uh, yeah, I'm sorry about this. Yeah, I'll come back and see what I can do to make this game run again. Hello, everyone, and, uh, welcome back. I hope this is working, of course. Um, it has been around three or four hours. I, Recorded the first segment, all hopeful and full of energy and vigor. Since then I have recorded one long episode, I thought it was successful at first. I, I have exported the audio of my very... Um, you know, I felt really good about the commentary this time, sometimes I don't feel good about it. My goal is to clear up my voice and do the commentary that the YouTube system is able to on closed caption is able to translate what I'm speaking into words without mistakes. But enough of that, I'm still working on that. Yeah, I was feeling good about it all. It was a brilliant victory. Yeah, and it ended up with the game giving me that celebratory Chinese people cheering on, you know, in front of Tiananmen Square and getting me a prototype unit. I found out the Russians have finally defeated General Ling and ground him, um, ground him bit to bit, but there will be a bit too vicious a description, just polarized him to the ground. That's how I felt when I discovered that the Russians sent on our way the thermonuclear device that didn't nuke the game, but nuked Bandicam. The Bandicam, the software I use to record this game. Um, I'm using the Windows mode to capture the window in which the game is being played, but Unfortunately, the game was not played in the window it captured. Apparently, the game of desktop was being played on it. Static desktop for 1 hour and 30 minutes was all I got. So, um, that was pretty bad. I cooled down a bit. Right now, it's around 35 degrees Celsius in this room. With no air conditioning. I fan it would be too loud. So, yeah, after sweltering heat and everything, um, this is all I get. 
and I think I deserved it for not going to the bottom of this after I have experienced some driver issues. Yeah, that's how I play uh, the game, I guess. Yeah, just going headlong into the oncoming rush of tanks and then... Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen this time around as well, but I hope that I was able to find a solution that is going to record without any problems. I'm expecting another problem, I don't know, down the road. This is the kind of things that you experience when you play all the games. But hopefully, with a full knowledge of the map firmly in my memory still, still fresh in my memory, I'll be able to repeat the kind of success that I did um, without, you know, incurring a lot of losses. In that first attempt at recording, um, I had lost a tank. I think this tank. Yeah, it was too bad. Uh, I was I was not able to recover in time. Because, as you will see, that there are a lot of Russian tanks. Normally I would just play this mission without any foreknowledge, just raw, going in without any kind of expectations. Just going from the map, uh, what I should do to prepare my troops to the best of its strength. But now I know what is going to happen. Of course there are variables and uh, the roll of dice is pretty vicious and not going to go um, in certain instances to my way. But yeah, I know the layout of the map, I know what the Russians are going to bring. Uh, for example, I know that they're going to bring a lot of air missions uh, kind of front heavy earlier. So I need to prepare for that. And uh, some of the things that I know is going to help me, but maybe I'm going to get too bogged down in details. Maybe it's not going to end up as well as it did. Um, but let's go and try to uh, parse this mission once again. It's a pretty interesting mission. Yeah, very interesting. Let's go there without further ado and start with exchanging this unit, guerrillas that we used. As a real guy unit, thankfully it was not engaged in any battles, so it doesn't have any experience points. No losses there. Now 830 prestige point is pretty handy when you consider uh, this map. Let me save it first. Yeah, you can see that I saved this um, beforehand because um, yeah, I thought that it, <laughs> Bandicam was recording this. So yeah, I was trying to do all that song and dance, trying to make this work, but yeah, the problem was really uh, deeper than I would have imagined. Alright, save this, so let's go back and see the map. Alright, so the map, we are starting out on the other side of Baikal, it seems. So the Ulan Ude was on the eastern side, uh, around uh, 50 to 100 kilometers east of Baikal. But this is now, we have arrived on the other shore of the big lake in Russia. Probably this is the biggest lake or in the top three biggest lake in Russia and I mean if you think about how large the land Russia itself is, this Lake Baikal is going to be pretty sizable and we will discuss, you know, mentioning the top biggest lakes in the world. Yeah, it's definitely very big. If you can see, yeah, the lake itself seems like a shoreline. And interestingly enough, Irkutsk is a place where did I mention what Orcus was all about? The cultured city, uh, Paris of Siberia, one of the biggest cities in Siberia in fact, uh, numbering into hundreds of thousands of people living here. Uh, anyways, yeah, I mean it's a really sizable city and Trans-Siberian Highway crosses this city of course and I thought the Chinese is going to use the highway to arrive at this city but they have thought uh, out of the box, opted to just cross the Baikal probably using one of those huge hovercrafts that I'm sure the Russians would have. I've seen a video where the you know, humongous hovercraft was landing on the beach with a lot of onlookers mouth agape in amazement uh, at what they're seeing uh, before they realize that their lives could be in danger because <laughs> just a huge hovercraft landing on the beach, a lot of noise and a lot of uh, you know, dust flying around. Maybe they, the Chinese here could have used that or something, but you know, record by Cal without any kind of hills or any place to um, camouflage or screen their forces would have made them a bit of a sitting duck but perhaps the Russians are thinking that the Chinese is going to use the you know, natural pathway by the railway system to arrive at their next destination but yeah the Chinese have one up them in a way in a game of deception and expectations and arrived here instead at the shore of 
Irkutsk. And this is Irkutsk River. Um, makes sense. And we have arrived at Ozero Baikal. I'm not so sure whether this is in English would have translated to a Baikal Lake. Yeah, alright, so all the objectives are here, just the city proper it seems, and there's nothing in the distance between the starting point and our objective. A lot of supply points so they can bring plenty of uh, infantry and then the yeah weapons. And this is uh, rather curious. Um, I mean, I guess the developers probably wanted to be more accurate and had to include this because it was just there. Yeah, this settlement I don't think offers any kind of um, you know, importance in terms of strategic values just there for maybe diverting your attention away or part of a staging area. Maybe if you have, I guess, low prestige handicap or something, maybe more forces will be arriving here or something. But yeah, no matter. We're just starting here, so there's no problem um, trying to divide our forces. I thought that this river was uh, impenetrable. Like, you cannot cross this river unless it is winter, but I think you can. So river assault guys will be able to just, you know, crisscross this river depending on how they see fit in order to support different, I guess, forces that would be starting out and heading in different directions. Okay, um, yeah, we need to expect a lot of tanks and a lot of uh, anti-air defenses. I'm not going to spoil the entirety of what to expect in the first few turns. Yeah, so let's go back and load the game again. Let's see, I think I can just go back to requisition and do all the stuff, but I don't know. I just want to be thorough. Alright, so as you can see, there were a lot of rivers in this area, so I need to make sure that all the tanks, at least at the spearhead of our offense, will be having river assault, or else they're going to be isolated and stranded most of the times. So I guess I need to upgrade them. Yep, here we go. So river assault. Okay. Yep. So upgrade. And another upgrade here coming. Great. So upgrade the leader tank and then experience tank. And the anti-tank is already supplying with river assault. So it's one good thing about it. Type 85. Yeah, special artillery. Um, equipped with, as you can see, river assault, which is very important. PLZ more powerful, but doesn't have any, um, so yeah, without question, need to upgrade it, 590. Yeah, so we need to choose between the mobility of the 85 and the power of PLZ 45, but you know, if you have attachment, you can remove it later. As you can see, I can do it right now, like this. And you gain your prestige back, 80 prestige back, so it's really interesting that in this case, attachment can be shared among uh, not only the hard target weapons, but also among the infantry. So yeah, it's really interesting how they can be so modular. Yeah, that's the way of the future of warfare or the weapons. Alright, so Tunguska. Let's see, Tunguska. Yeah, I think it'd be better if Tunguska has some combat support because sometimes it loses out in the amount of the shells it has, so it can Solo have to suspend itself, each activity for a turn before it can get supplied again and have to protect the units around it. Yeah, alright, so let's see. Yeah, let's come back to air defense later. Um, I'm going to upgrade this guy to type 05. Yes, this is it. And it, this already has certain attachments, so yeah, do not have to worry about you know attaching it after I have upgraded it. I don't think it the cost reflect the kind of attachment that it already has, so even if you have attachment, it doesn't really have, you know, at least I think that it doesn't affect the upgrade cost. I mean, 70 is pretty uh, cheap, and it's just difference between this one, uh, the price of this, and the uh, price of the infantry here. Uh, well, I think it's a bit less. Interesting. Yeah, why don't I just buy this and then upgrade to, um, you know, Type 5 instead of purchasing type of 5 in the first place. Maybe because it considers the... I don't know, I just upgraded, yeah. It's a pretty good deal, so I upgraded. Yep, now it finally has a mechanical component to it. You can travel a bit farther. Engineers are going to be very important. Uh, let units cross the river. Werewolf. 
Uh, yeah, okay, so I want to upgrade over strength rather the werewolf. The good helicopter is going to take a chunk away from my prestige though. Yep, got 170. Wow, yeah, that is something else. Alright, so let's upgrade this guy. Yeah, let's just try to focus on the infantry a bit. And this guy has Ford Observer. Very nice. Ford Observer allowing the artillery and other... I think the regular attacks also count. But if you are around an enemy unit with Ford Observer, the artillery and other unit is able to damage that unit um, much better. Um, I think it has plus 4 to each offensive ratings against the unit. So yeah, very useful. Okay, so what else can I overstrength? Or should I go for a unit uh, requisition? So I cannot obviously get um, you know, good tank. Uh, let alone the tank without any experience. So no veteran tank there. It's out of option. It's out of uh, question. Yeah, kind of thinking I should go for some of the units that is effective against hard armor and also pretty decent against the uh, infantry artillery i think we have enough artillery anti-tank well there's not a lot of units to choose from i kind of wish that they would introduce a new model but i mean this guy you know pretty good as it is right now serving pretty well with river assault capability I have no problems with that. I wouldn't mind bringing one of these guys. Um, pretty decent against... Uh, in 221. I think pretty decent both against helicopters and aircraft, but... I think Tunguska will be able to handle most if not all of the air threats. I checked the air superiority uh, already in this mission and I think it's still at 70%, so we have a pretty good chance of surviving it. Just be careful of where to place the supporting units so yeah that's that so let's get uh yeah let's get a uh, infantry oh 80 so it's perfect for bringing an attachment but i'm going to save this just in case our rear guard needs some more um you know they need to bolster their presence in the rear guard so i need to bring a guerrilla or even um garrison in order to protect our back or rear so, all right, looks good. So I guess let's call us for another save. Okay, saved. Orkutsk, China, turn one of sixteen. Yeah, it's another eight-turn brilliant victory mission. Thursday, May of four. Yeah, it's not even a month since the end of Ulan Ude operation. So air superiority is still seventy percent. Yeah, pretty decent. So this is the layout of the map. Uh, a lot of rivers, a lot of tributaries. They're running from this big lake, so it's understandable that there'll be a lot of water and swamps around, but uh, strangely no swamp. It's all clear. And uh, just have to worry about the river. Uh, some of these areas seem to be like forest or kind of, uh, you know, has some undergrowth that would... There's some hills here though. Yeah, but they're most of the land without the river hex or the Water hex is just clear, so tanks will be very well served in this particular scenario. Okay, so I'm going to place a veteran tank. One here, other one here. The big tank. Yeah, the big tank is very useful, but kind of strangely it is less effective against hard targets, so bring one here, I guess. Here. Oop, helicopter, nope, I didn't mean to do that, but it doesn't matter. Type 99, okay. Well, first of all, let's get the recons going as well. Um, this one has... Yeah. This one is going to just be on here. Ford Observer, one here, and just a screen recon with Ford Observer here. And Tunguska is going to follow up. Very important. Very important, indeed. Not you, Tunguska. I mean, that guy is also very important in terms of aircraft defense. Okay, so where is Tunguska? Here we go. Yep. And artillery will come later. And the infantry. One engineer here, another engineer here. 
Is this engineer? I don't know. Ah, okay. What about the tank? Anti-tank, yeah, here. Uh, no, here. Is this engineer? Oh, okay, sorry. Is this anti-tank? No, sorry. Ah, engineer, yeah. The engineer, right? Okay. Yeah. Anti-tank. River assault, so you'll be able to cross the river. Uh, under helicopter here. Okay, so HQ and artillery is left along with the infantry. So infantry will decide since they river so they can go either left or right. So they'll decide which way they're going to go. And uh, HQ is going to bring in the artillery. So let's do that. Yeah. Let's bring artillery first. Okay, this one is a PLZ. And yes. Yeah, wow, look at that, huh? The lot of front heavy defensive line. I think I expected that because they are you know they have like pro tanks right here, they were expecting the Chinese to come from on the other side of the Baikal shore, so maybe uh, this was not a good idea really. Um, yeah, but let's just move up with the recon and see. Yeah, more stuff, more stuff. Definitely more. A lot of infantry, a lot of conscripts, I believe. Conscript here, conscript there. Yeah, all conscripts. It's kind of um, easy to defeat them. Yeah, like here. Um, another tank. Wow. That's not cool. Yep, yeah, I get very worried because of the tank's heavy presence. But let's start with uh, these guys and uh, yeah, let's destroy it, overrun it. And is there another scout? Yes, great. And this is not a Ford Observer. Yeah, this is just a recon. Garden variety recon. It's not able to even shoot at other guys. Yeah, it's just too weak. Yeah, I don't know why, but cannot shoot it. Anywho, yeah, let's get some of the BRDM. They're the same uh, class of recon as the Chinese. Yeah, once again. Showing uh, where uh, most of the Chinese armament originated. Doesn't mean that, you know, it's the same thing. Maybe the Chinese wanted to keep the moniker the same. You know, making things simple. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what am I talking about? Talking about nothing. So let's go ahead and use this helicopter to see. Um, yeah, alright. Yeah, you need to be very careful with the helicopters because, uh, you know, the anti-air extrellas and stinger mounted infantry anti-air units will be able to just travel really quick. They are um, supported by organic transport, so they'll be able to travel a um, lot of hexes in order to find their target. Uh, your air force, sorry. Prepare for what they have. Yeah, it's gonna run, no? Okay, good. Underworld running, that's good. Good start for uh, this side of the Orkutsk. I think this is western side, eastern side, so western side, western bank of the river. Okay, this, that makes sense. Alright, protected, good. And this guy, yeah, artillery has to support these guys, artillery, and I will give them this, and what is this, engineer, okay, one good engineer, how about that, and on this side I will have to deploy, uh, I think river assault is able to make them cross rather easily, so I give one Tunguska here and I will get the infantry yeah, travel on the other side so maybe this will be able to wipe the floor? no, not really 
but I think I'll be able to destroy it, overrun it. Okay, let's keep to the bank of the river. How about now? One and three. Okay. Six and five. Okay, wow. One and three, I can live with it. Okay, three and three, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh no. Oh, clear, okay. Nope. This is anti-tank as you can see here. Yep, this is the Meti. Uh, I don't know whether this is a NATO code for a uh, Russian unit or Russians themselves found the term Metis and put it on an anti-tank. Very impressive anti-tank, although it is soft target, so it's vulnerable against, I'm sure, air attacks, but it has anti-air, so yeah, this unit is going to be uh, one tough nut to crack. Uh, but let's just get the uh, air defense first and put it here. Yeah, as you can see, it's not going to measure up, it's going to definitely suffer. Screen, yeah, okay. You're in five, okay, that's pretty good. So on the artillery, right? There's anti-tank. Can you do something about this guy? No, not really. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm loath to place my anti-tank here. It's going to be just swamped by the Russians and will be promptly destroyed. I do have a secret weapon. Well, not really secret, but it's kind of hidden here, so I didn't notice it. But yeah, this guy. Let's see if I can make a short work. Oh, there's another guy here. Wow. Now this is, yeah, I remember this being, uh, you know, an anti-air guy. So yeah, need to go there. Too, too sweet. And destroy it. Yeah, it's one of the perks that you can have when you have already played a mission. I value going into the mission without any kind of foreknowledge because you don't know what to expect and the kind of excitement and the reactions that you have. Know, encountering some of the things that you do in this kind of games it's more exciting quite more organic of course the variables of random nature and of course I'm not going to repeat the same kind of movement that led me to victory here so it's going to be different but I think I would be better prepared I'm sure you're not going to be in a position to lose that tank that I did yeah, there are a lot of um, armament here that I thought, um, as you can see, I mean, I cannot show you exactly why I thought that I was safe from this initial attack from the Russian armor. But I will show you in due time, because, um, yeah, it's going to appear. Yeah, I don't know, I used too many words to explain what my thoughts were. And three, yeah, these guys are pretty easy to destroy. I need to still be careful because a lot of these guys are spread around in a general defensive line. And um, yeah, I need to think about what to do with this anti-air. Try to bolster here or somewhere else. Now, since I made myself a bit vulnerable by placing uh, these guys like out in front, uh, away from the air support. What I need to do is try to uh, try to get defensive support from the air mission going. So yeah, 25 is pretty decent. I'm not gonna use more um, air mission points for recon since I better understand what to expect. But you never know. Need to be prepared for everything. Let's just move this guy up a bit. And deploy once again. Yeah, I almost forgot. So this changes things a bit. Uh, okay, let's go. Yeah, let's just kind of go for that general... I mean, this map is not that big. But in three turns, you'll be able to reach the city limit of Irkutsk. So let's go for infantry march on the eastern bank and on the western side I will try to um, just finish off with these guys and then maybe with infantry able to support both sides. 
Yeah, that is my plan. Okay, I'll be able to destroy it. Okay, sure, let's just finish this guy off. Alright, so no deployment possible and everything has been moved. So yeah, the first turn was uh, rather eventful. I was able to just clear up the armor and was able to find a pretty good breachhead or what do you call it, um, beachhead? Can you call beachhead? I call it like it's such a big lake that sometimes if you were just standing on one side, the waters would seem to just go forever into the horizon. So, I mean, I call it beachhead. But let's see if the Russians can do something about it. I'm sure they have a lot of tricks up their sleeves. Starting with... Point once. Okay. Yeah. Didn't really affect our strength. Yeah, the Russian tanks are coming. Yep. Oh boy. Here he comes. Anti-tank, recons. Oh, defending pretty well, but this is a different story. Wow. Goodness gracious, wild weasel. Destroyed. Wow, air defense got destroyed. That is uh, very uh, worrying. Okay, so it fared a bit better, but I'd rather lose air defense than a tank. But goodness gracious, that was pretty bad. These guys are all coming and retreating, maybe to a next defensive line now that the first defensive line composing a Russian armor has been compromised. Our Kutsk turned to a 16 knight. So it's 90 knight. It's rather hard to see what's up ahead. Uh, I know that this guy is definitely sneaking around, so we need to destroy it. Although I'd be not really relishing the idea of... Uh... Yep, we didn't surprise. Very, very difficult area now. Uh, ooh, series of 10. Mm -hmm. Okay, alright. So let's set up the port observer. Perfect space to affect the most amount of damage. Ah, 604, yeah, that is what I like, and the tank, yes, overrun. That's the sneaky recon out of the way. Ooh, yeah, that's not good, isn't it? Not good at all, but I remember this guy being rather weak, yes. We go against this guy, overrun, yes, great. Okay, so helicopter might help, because... Oh wow, another uh, overrun possible? Am I dreaming? No, not apparently. 1 of 5. Okay, so another helicopter could be an usher there. Well, let's wait. Just sneak around with the recon. See, watch up. Okay, it's by some recon and a conscript. Yeah, let's go and say hello. Wow, look at that. In the last turn alone, this guy has spent all his shells. Thank goodness for its huge range. Alright, uh, where am I? Okay. Uh, Anti-tank. Can you shoot at this guy? Maybe a bit closer. Okay, pretty good damage. Yeah, this is what anti-tank is all about. It's not really effective against tanks per se, but against this kind of subunit. Done a pretty good job whittling them down. Uh, yeah, not good. One or two, wow, these guys are pretty hardy. That's just the answer for these guys, yep. Oh, wow, yeah, they're everywhere. But not the anti air, so my helicopter can roam free a bit. Right. So it seems like they're beating a general retreat. Okay, so what can I do here? Um, I guess I follow up with the... Where is the artillery? I had already shot with my artillery. Yes, seems like I did. Okay, so 80. Not enough. Uh, I need to bring my Tunguska. Hmm, that is a problem. If the Russian aircraft shows once again, uh, 
rears its uh, very effective ground attacks then yeah, my tanks will not last. So I need to bring Tunguska as fast as possible to the other side. Unfortunately this doesn't have river assault. And this guy we have to just cover for you know this amount of force which is quite tall order. Eight and two, wow, they're doing the Lawrence work. Impressed, very impressed. Okay, okay. Found this guy. And this guy has spent all his shells in two turns. My goodness. Um, yeah, let's just move generally toward the area of our objective. Oh, okay, I do have a... Yeah, okay. Uh, I will... Yeah, shoot this guy. Oh. Yeah, it's not really that effective. Kind of uh, thinking that it's big barrel or long barrel is for naught. Ah, not being able to finish it. No, that sucks. That is not good. Okay. Yeah, I have all this infantry. Uh, maybe I have to move a couple of these guys up here. Let's see. Can this guy keep up? Yeah, okay. One and one. Oh, almost able to destroy, please. Nope. Ah, yeah, I pushed them further away. Okay. Yeah, there's a cross right here. And the PLZ is going to yeah, be here. And this guy will support this side, that flank of our advance. Infantry, I don't know what to expect here. So yeah, I need to move generally in this area because I have no idea what to expect in this area. I'm kind of scared because some of them probably have moved. Although I can use air mission. Yeah, the recon was pretty good. Let's see. Oh, I don't see it. So I guess I can move here and then destroy him. So I guess air point well spent. I don't know. It's going to all come into sharp focus whether I have used my air missions in a judicious manner by the end of the operation. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Turn to 16. The Russians attacking. Uh, their recon has been kind of knocked out, but you know, these guys are already still active, so yeah, at least on this side, the Russians will be more careful. Hopefully, we're going to ensnare them a bit. Yeah, in this turn. Yep, they're running back. Oh, wow, okay. So, I don't know if you noticed, but there was an American flag there. Definitely, the Americans have joined with their artillery. I don't know how much of a... uh-oh. I don't know how much of a force that they have. Oh, ambush right there. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, pretty good. Oh, almost destroyed there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, probably this is destroyed as well. My anti-tank is gone probably, or is it the uh, screening recon? That sucks. Yeah, so two units lost. One, an anti-air defense, and the other one, a uh, screening recon. To worse result than the last time. And I fear that it's going to be the case. It's not really helping. Okay, alright. Let's get some overrun going. Okay, finally. Good. And... Ah, this will do. Yep. Okay, good. Uh, doesn't matter. Wow, very strong. Overrun, yep. Just the skipping stones on the sea of Russian troops. Okay, can you move? Nope. Okay, but artillery can move still. Right. And on an overrun, good. Right, so I don't have any targets. Now my anti-air can move. 
Anyways, yeah, let's overrun this guy. Let's make them pay. Yeah. It's not like I lost the uh, you know, tank or anything, but it kind of still hurts. The um, recon and uh, kind of does still pretty hurt. I have only one recon left and I think that was the leader recon or why not? Oh, that was uh, yeah, another forward observer recon, so it was not really that experienced, but still it's a pretty heavy loss. Yeah. Alright, the anti tank. Okay, well, shit, anyways. So how much shell do we have? Four out of six. Okay, still plenty. Let's whittle them down a bit. Oh, there's another guy. Maybe I need to finish it. Yeah, okay. Alright, so where can my... Ah, we have already arrived here. At the outside limits of Shalakov. I guess a suburb of Kutsk. It's a pretty big city, so it even has a suburb. So let's move ahead and see what they have. Of course, it's going to be a bit spread apart. That's going to be the danger once again. Don't have enough air defense. Uh, nope, you still have a job to do. How many shells? Three more shells. Plenty. Uh, I think the Russians have spent most of their air point, air mission points on the first turn. They just burned through it, I guess, to try to make the most of the situations before the Chinese could regroup and find their form. Yeah, so I don't really expect any aircraft up here. I don't know, things can change, but for now I leave this guy here just in case. If the infantry seals up and then attacks this guy, this guy will be you know, destroyed in a few turns, if not outright. There's basically nowhere to run to, so it's going to be isolated and promptly destroyed. Yeah, so that's the danger, that's the risk. Alright, overrun possible. Good, okay, so one helicopter did its job. Let's see if I can move here and yeah, destroy this anti air, the pesky anti air. Uh, yeah, this guy, goodness gracious. Alright, so let's see what is up here. Since I lost my recon, I need to recon ahead using the planes. Not a lot. Uh, just try to attack. Ah, the Americans. Hello there. I don't really differentiate between the Americans and then the Russians. All oh, like green and everything. Although Russians do have a bit of a bluish hue about their um, Okay, so where did I put my Tunguska? Oh. Did I move my Tunguska in different direction? Yeah, I did, apparently. So that's another mistake. I thought I was moving uh, in different direction. What will happen if there is a... If there is a Russian helicopter attack? You have not thought about that, did you? You silly, silly... General Ling. You silly goose. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that is a mistake. It's a very bad mistake, in fact. Uh, okay. Before I burn through my air mission point, let's see if I can acquisition some anti-air units. Nope, I can't. So, yeah, it's a mistake. Oh boy. This is going to be pretty bad. Um... No, wait a minute, this is actually protected. Ah, I spent like... Dang it. This sucks. Why did I do this for? Why, why did I do it? Wow. Okay, so there's a big anti-air. There's another anti-air, so they are showing their faces. Uh, yeah. Okay, don't really see helicopters 
yet, but it's gonna come. I think they have around two helicopters. I was lucky this time around. And I got 15 points back, so yeah, it's a bit of reprieve. I consider myself very lucky there. Uh, this is night. Yeah, so I need to be careful. Yeah, okay. Join five, okay, fine. Let's watch out for the shells. Two left. I'm very sure that there will be a Russian helicopter. 100% sure. Uh, anyways, yes. Let's go here and then uh, try to make some noise. Um, well, I mean, by noise I mean just you know going as close as possible and maybe surprising them a bit. Hopefully. Ah, uh, yeah. Goodness. No, I guess you can like come around here. There'll be some artillery and and uh, stuff around. Oh man. Okay. Oh wow, could have been surprised, but luckily I didn't get surprised. Which is good news. I'm going to just maybe overrun, yeah, good. And I can stay within the range of this anti air. Yeah, okay. And yeah, finally. Finally need to resupply. Anti tank is a survivor. Definitely. Uh, no, I think it's a bit too close. I stay around here. Anti air everywhere. So, who knows what's going to happen? And this guy can thankfully. Oh, he'll be out of the range. Ah, huh, okay, good. Wow. Yeah, there is that. Yep. Sorry about that. Stay in my range. And this guy. Okay. Yep, still there. Good. Okay, so what is this? Type of 5 infantry. Oh wow, I can actually enter into Shadokov. Okay. Yeah, let's do air recon, I think. As far as air defense is concerned, I'm... I don't know. Oh my god. Breathe in, breathe in. Yep. It's going to be crazy. Okay, thankfully it's three shots. Good. Okay. I mean, he says it's clear terrain, but... You know, he has a force in it, so it must have some difference, right? At least offer some kind of a difference. Uh, 14, huh? I don't really feel confident about 14. I'm sure that this guy will survive at least two shots from this. But thinking that this is the, you know, the infantry, the wanted infantry, I may be able to survive and uh, I don't know, it's going to be pretty bad. Okay, defense mission, defense support. All right here. I don't care about this. You know, these two guys probably is going to get distracted or something. Yeah, maybe this was a mistake. I'm parking my helicopter right here. Uh, hopefully I get lucky this time around against Estrella. Yeah, so big battle coming up. They are anticipating the arrival of the Chinese at Shalakov and they're definitely well prepared for it. They're moving around still with the conscript and this guy is not conscript. Uh, probably light infantry. A lot of tanks, two tanks, and a uh, helicopter. I think this is Apache helicopter. Yeah. I don't think I saw Apache helicopter last time, but maybe I thought that it was a Russian helicopter. But yeah, Apache is here, folks. So um, let's see what happens. I'm going to make a mincemeat out of my force, or I'm going to survive because I have a uh, air defense. They're moving. Yeah, moving into. Okay. All right, they're going back. Okay. Giving us a bit of break or something, or... I don't know why the Americans are not that aggressive. Maybe they're having second thoughts about helping... Oh no! 
they have arrived on the, this side and they got ambushed here, which is pretty cool. Wow, yeah, and defense is support. Oh my god, something got destroyed. Oh my goodness, what did I lose? Uh, perhaps an uh, infantry. Yeah, I think it was an infantry, it got destroyed. Uh, no, it was a, I think it was a recon. Yeah, I think it was a recon, it got destroyed once again. And I'm out of shells. I'm in trouble. Hmm. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, my screening guy probably got killed. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think it's not a leader, but... Wow, just wow. Uh, yeah. Helicopter, can you do something against this tank? Oh, right, destroy it. Okay, but I think I can reserve it for something better. Okay, yeah, just destroy it. Oh, wow. Goodness gracious. Yeah, finally. Good. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, so, yeah. Estrella, get out. Ah, Americans. Okay, good. Waiting for a fight against American Marines or Light Infantry. Finally, we have met our match. Now, no offense to the Russians, they were very resilient. As you could see, they have destroyed like three of my units. The far worse result. Um, yeah, it's just a really bad result. And uh, certainly kind of putting a damper, crimping my style or something because I have achieved a brilliant victory. I'm not kidding, I show you. Um, after uh, this mission, <laughs> if it ever gets finished. Uh, my mistake for not bringing the... MLRS. Oh wow, this American tank. Holy crap. Oh dear lord. 12, okay. Good. So I have an airstrike capability. Tunguska. Okay, not going to do well. Yeah, it's a mistake. It's a mistake. Did I really move? Um, excuse me, helicopter? No? Four of seven. Yeah, all in all, it was a pretty bad, bad turn. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty bad turn. Yeah, it's Havoc. It's really experience point Havoc. Very difficult. Yeah, I'm gonna lose out pretty badly. Oh boy. Sure, I can live with that. Now, what to do with this? This is support. defensive support right here uh, Tunguska can actually uh, move up a bit to protect our guys okay and uh, this guy well mm, what can you do with this yeah, oh my goodness, look at the defenders, wow. I'm running out of troops, surprisingly. Yeah, quiet. Did I replace already? Oh, I have replaced my strength. Okay, whatever. I'm just making mistakes, like left and right. 
Yeah, we have to just consider this a wash. Yeah, this guy will come down now and destroy my anti-tank. Yeah. Wow, oh, man, I'm losing a lot of units. Yeah, this is this is just not feasible. Yeah, wow, I'm losing a lot of units. Oh man, this is pretty bad. Oh wow. Six and four? Okay. Dang it. So many mistakes. Yeah, my goodness. Right now, the helicopters are out. Okay, I guess they have this. Uh, okay, well, let's try and move into. Okay, recon and see. Chop. Yeah, yeah, okay, I guess I can move in. Yeah, destroy this. Doesn't matter, not that strong. I don't know why, but... Yeah. Hey, finally that's gonna take a bit of a... Oh boy, okay. One and five, maybe we'll run possible. Oh wow, I destroyed it. Yeah, pretty angry there. Out of shells? Nope, still a lot of shells. Okay, and this guy will go here. And uh, yeah, shoot from the back. I'm worried about, uh, of course, the helicopters. Yeah, helicopters are just going to make a mincemeat out of us. Goodness gracious. What can I do? What can I do? 26? Yeah. Hundred five. Do I have enough to bring in an anti-air? Uh nope. Oh, yeah. I guess this might work. How far can you travel? Six? I don't know. Maybe can... Yeah, I guess we can attack. Oh, oh okay. Alright. Yeah, but it's not really much of a consolation. <laughs> Gotta retire this guy. I don't want to lose any more troops here. I lost four troops, I think. Indeed. Um, I don't know, it's just, just, yeah, I cannot really do it. Get things going here, making a lot of mistakes. Yeah, I mean, this is canon anyways. I cannot go back and reload, you know, the one that I did pretty well. This guy is only four strength, so I mean, it's kind of weak. I can maybe push ahead without no game to worry about their attacks. Okay, I guess it's good. Destroy more units. Yeah, stay here and shoot. Yeah, I think they do have one more helicopter than I faced before. I'm not so sure, but it seems like it. But also, yeah, it, probably because... Because I'm having a bit tougher time than before, so I guess I you know, reflexively think that there may have been a tougher opposition. Yeah, but the patch helicopter just made the mincemeat out of us. Yeah, that was a pretty bad turn for me. Probably the worst turn right now that I've suffered. Okay, didn't do that much. Wow, that did a number. Uh, counter battery did kind of work, but 
Not much. Yeah, so two turns, can I make it? I'm not so sure. Um, the silver lining would be that I'd be able to, you know, push them away, um, but I'm not so sure about that. Helicopter is there, so I can just go there and aim at it. Okay, good. So is there infiltrator around here? No. I don't, I don't see any infiltrators. Uh, I guess I use the recon and see, just in case, you know. There's nobody, so I can just go in and attack whoever I can inflict the most damage. Yeah, destroyed it. And counter battery fire, while probably very useful, it's not doing its job that much. And uh, I think this guy is already spent. Or multiple counter battery, which out of shells, so I can probably just go rough shot. Uh, not really. Yeah. Um, that's my wishful thinking. Can you overrun please? Yes, thank you. Just go in the... Ah, it's out of shells, isn't it? Oh, goodness. Alright. Out of shells, out of shells, okay. Our infantry has to... What? Why can I... A terrible unit. So why can I not shoot it, guys? Oh, it's river assault, it's not active. Yeah, it's just the guy that allows the other units to launch a river assault. Okay. Oh, I guess it does. Can you shoot? No, no, no. Okay, well, <laughs> that was a wasted turn. Ah, right. Yeah, um, I guess. Okay, it'd be nice if I can overrun some of these guys. Ah, uh, helicopter, yeah, we have helicopter. So, I don't see a lot of anti-air. Maybe I should try to get this guy. Alright, yeah, every little bit helps. Uh, I guess. I guess it's a little, but yeah, okay. Oh wow, there's a lot of fights. This guy seems pretty tough, so... Yeah. And... Okay. 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, 7, okay, this guy. Yeah, I need to capture it. Almost. I think I can use the air defense to seal the gap somewhat if you know things come to that, but hopefully not. Not going to be the case. All right. Yeah, the tank's not been that effective. Oh no! Oh, it destroyed that guy. Not that effective. I thought they were just overrun. I mean, they have been effective, what I'm talking about. They have been very effective, in fact. Just that I didn't have... I didn't find a lot of success, that's why I'm... Um, you know, assessing the effectiveness of the tank based on my uh, poor decisions. Uh, I guess we can follow this guy, I don't know. Uh, yeah. This guy. Alright, conscript. But I'm sure that there will be a defender somewhere. This guy... Well, okay. This guy, um... Capture it, I guess? No? Nope. I'm kind of afraid of these guys coming, so I just capture it here. And I guess I have enough to bring in something. Yeah, 80. So I can bring in a gorilla. Vision point 0.5. Wild Weasel, maybe? Yep, I guess one for the road. I don't know, it's a bit of a moral boost taking out of that pesky American Patriot missile battery. Oh, okay, last turn for Brilliance. Um, I don't know. Ah, nice. Very effective. 
Ah, somebody got a leader, finally. Good. I was wondering when I'm going to get it. Uh, damn it. Okay. Yeah, this guy really had to... Can this guy capture it? Yes, they can. But let's just try to push these guys out. Oh my goodness. Everybody's out of shells. Oh, good. Air defense, can you move there? Yes, you can. Thank you very much. Oh, wait, yeah. I think I can... Um, yeah, I think I can achieve brilliant victory once again. That's pretty hard. Indeed. Okay, get some more experience. Yep. That kind of makes up for all the casualties suffered at the hands of the Russians and Americans. Alright, so three. It's pretty good. Okay, so what can you do with this guy? Check out the map first. Yeah, so I was able to capture all the objectives. The Russians are uh, kind of fleeing uh, or all destroyed. Yeah, it was a pretty tough fight indeed. Only one left, so uh, hopefully I can make it. This air defense, yeah, maybe I need to exchange it. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Still a lot of fight to left. This guy can probably move into empty space. Yeah, very tough Russian here. Uh, very tough. Yes, finally. Good. Yeah, was able to defeat them. Drive them out of the Orcus proper and uh, surrounding regions. And Eastern Brilliant Victory. Six victory hex captured with a turn um, in the last turn for Brilliant Victory condition. So 8 turns have been spent, and uh, yeah, I mean, considering all that had happened, it only took like, not a long time, probably uh, less than before, but a lot more destruction happened on our side, I had to probably check what happened, just to assess just what the heck happened in this mission. Um, a lot of things that I didn't prepare for, um, as you can see, this is just a, uh, you know, objective out in the middle of nowhere. I'm sure that, you know, developers just found a lone village and decided to include it or something or divert our attention from it. Or if we, I don't know, in the first time I recorded it, kind of wondered about whether uh, this would be another staging area for American forces if our prestige would have been handicapped. So yeah, a very hard fight. And... Yeah, the Russians gave us a very tough fight with their helicopters, you know, intelligently picking apart where the air defense was not covering. Uh, making uh, sure that they exploited all the mistakes, such as, you know, not bring air defense uh, across the river. Um, and then try to, uh, yeah, limit our movement, didn't really work. Still was able to pick up our recons and all the other small units that, you know, in terms of prestige do not really um, amount to much, but, you know, if you add them up, all the casualties up, it might have been, like, yeah, a substantial amount, so. Yeah, brilliant victory, but on the backs of a few stinging defeats, um, I guess that's probably the... It's going to be a probably usual fare from here on out. Small mistakes would just spiral out of control if I'm not careful. Although I was able to achieve brilliant victory just by sheer force. And I guess the luck. Yeah. You need to be very careful next time. Thankfully I didn't lose a tank. Was able to gain a leader. I don't know, I didn't check yet. Uh, infiltrator, I think this is the tank that I had. Uh, I think this is a new tank, Street Fighter. So yeah, okay, cool. So this would have been very appropriate to fight in Urkutsk proper. And I think this guy didn't shoot at the guy yet, but would have survived. Um, this infantry attack, then this would have been rather effective. Alright, so let's see what this guy has to say. Where 
Where would General Ling and his forces end up after they have shored up the defenses here or, you know, taken over another stretch of the Trans-Siberian Railway, coming around the lake by Kyle? Victory is a fortune the bold make for themselves, and yours has earned China great rewards. Yeah, I mean, I was trying to be bold, I guess, but it does expose yourself to facing the consequences if this boldness do not pan out or if this becomes a bit more rash than bold. Um, what I'm trying to say is there's less room for errors. But that's what I had to do in 8 turns. Um, the Russian Far East is all but secure as the capture of the Trans-Siberian Railroad at Irkutsk will ensure our forces of a reliable supply line. Yeah, so with Mongolia on its side, China was able to, I guess, finally stabilize the region that they took, stretching all the way from the Russian Far East to Central Asia. I guess they had to take this railroad in order to provide stability that they thought they would be able to manage in the Far East. Um, but then this is like far removed from the Far East, literally, it's in the Central Asia, it's like thousands of kilometers away, but their access to Pacific or their hold on Russian Far East probably still rather uh, tenuous. That's what they need to do to um, be more stabilized and uh, drop down to a manageable level. Anyways, yeah, so I think we are done with Russian Far East finally. Um, I don't know, maybe we are done with the Central Asia as well. Stop making fight with Russians, we have bigger enemies now with Americans bringing like Abrams tanks and Apache helicopters and MLRS counter batteries, counter battery artilleries. Yeah, it's going to be pretty tough. Uh, really need to play the advantages of numbers. Alright, yeah, another celebratory yeah, video. Yeah, I thought that video was um, actually played at every phase of the campaign, like every stage where you would have passed and they would play it just to signify there's a new thing that you can expect in the next mission, but that was just a video that they play after every brilliant victory. That was uh, probably the same for Panzer General 2 as well, like Pure 2 of Brilliant Victory, there was a little cinematic congratulating you for the job well done, so that was that. Tiananmen Square, two fireworks to his name, that's going to be as great an honor for General Ling as any medal, bringing a bit of a celebration to the Chinese public or something. It's people's general this game is, yeah, so uh, it's all about the people, isn't it? But in Europe it was released under Dynasty General. Kind of centered around the Chinese, if you um, think about it. I mean, the box art is of a Chinese man, older Chinese gentleman, in the cover. So yeah, this is the main campaign that we are playing. So where are we now? Almighty Kazakhstan. After losing at Irkutsk, the Russians enlisted the aid of their former state, Kazakhstan, and diverted large numbers of troops and equipment to a staging area near Mali. This is a desperate attempt to forestall our advance by launching an invasion into China itself. We must crush the Russian buildup as well as capture Ahmadi and the surrounding towns. Ahmadi is the capital of Kazakhstan, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be just the big city that we are entering and trying to, uh, you know, summit yet another nation, be it a former Soviet state, former um, Soviet Republic, I guess, now a staunch ally of the Russian Federation. I think they're still part of uh, something called CIS. I might be wrong. Yeah, but Kazakhstan could be a pretty good area for Russians to um, ask for support, uh, along with the Americans. I mean, the Russians are now finding allies everywhere they can look for. And maybe they're thinking um, the best offense is the best defense is good offense, or, you know, best defense. I don't know how the term goes, but uh, best defense is great offense. I'm sure the Russian is repeating kind of the tactics that they used against the Nazis in uh, World War II where they have, you know, counterattacked in such a way that it created a big salient after the thrust that they had made in to the German lines and they were able to isolate hundreds of thousands of men and from any kind of supplies, well, I mean, very limited supplies and um, by attrition after they've been isolated, eventually destroy them or rob them in that pocket. So I guess this is what they're trying to do once again. Um, of course, history repeats itself, so you know Chinese would better um, to recognize that threat and launch a preliminary attack that would dissuade Russians from you know, mounting such a daring attack. 
So it's pretty cool that you know new nations are being included. I'm not meaning that Kazakhstan is being involved in the battle itself is a good thing, but only in terms of there will be more unique uh, weapons or something. Probably it's all like Russian weapons, but I'm sure that given the mods and then the breadth of the units that you cover, it might introduce certain interesting um, elements or different unique spin to the arsenal that they have available. So it'd be interesting to see the Kazakhstanis and how well they're prepared. I mean, we are the Chinese is invading their country, so they probably add up their weapons for defensive purposes uh, before converting to uh, offense as uh, what they're trying to do finally pans out. Okay, so let's see. Wow, okay. Uh, last time I received the Chinese commando, I guess the PLA command fell story for me and they giving me this upgraded version of the tank. Although it's a prototype, so I can overstrength it. That's pretty unfortunate because tanks definitely work way better when overstrength. But it gives me a good ratings across the board. I think it kind of loses out in the close defense and offense ratings, but in terms of ground defense and offense. And the movement is pretty decent as well. Plenty of shells, although it doesn't compare to the number of shells that 99 has. And it's going to be a juggernaut, a center of attention. And it's going to cover up, you know, the fact that it cannot be overstrength by having 25 ground defense, so it's not going to lose a lot of units. Hopefully not. And 3, spawning range, and uh, wow, yeah, overall it's a very impressive tank. It's like a tiger tank or something. Alright, I wonder if the Chinese code name for this tank is Tiger also. It would be pretty funny if it's that. So another tank, yeah. Uh, I don't know how much of prestige it is, but... You can see the prestige amount has increased substantially. The first time I completed this, uh, I didn't lose a lot of units. Uh, I should better save first before... I mean, I'm kind of paranoid. No empty slot, I have to show you... What I ended up with. Last time I tried this, so I guess I will do Almadi uh, A, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, 0 1. It's all safe, all good. Yeah, the last time it was around 1700 because I only lost one unit, but I don't have any uh, recon to speak up now. I lost uh, air defense, uh, infantry, I think and two recons so this definitely helps 500 is not going to give me all the you know in terms of prestige and experience the unit that i lost like in one requisition but it's going to definitely help especially showing up the recon aspect of our army yep only one left so that's pretty bad i mean the recon should be retreating right after discovering i was a bit too hesitant to impetuous or impatient in my approach if you see the dossier, you can see, yeah, yeah, the number that they did on us. So, what is this? Anti-tank? Uh, air defense and two recons. So Anti-tank is gone too, huh? It sucks. I love the unit. I love the little plucky anti-tank unit, but it's gone, folks, it's gone. It had two bars of experience. Oh well, I can exchange this guy and then bring in a better air defense and anti-tank as well. But definitely, uh, the sting is taken kind of gone now that I have like gotten this tremendous amount of tank in the form of Type 071. I think this tank has not come out of prototype stage yet, but now they're coming up with all these new designs. Very exciting for us. I wonder what kind of units we have. I'm going to leave that the next time to see what new units may be available. Let's see um, what is what I received the first time around. Yeah, you can see it's uh, far less, but my sky survived fared a whole lot better than the one that I actually recorded. Only lost one tank. Kind of stings, but yeah, I mean, and for for my troubles, I was able to receive this guy, special forces guy. Uh, pretty impressive, close defense and um, close offense, and of course, yeah, he can go and penetrate the rear guard of the enemy and cause a lot of havoc by this aeromobile ability, you know, helicopter transport. So it would have been pretty fun using this guy, but yeah, I wasn't able to record it. And uh, I do have a pretty good tank, so I mean, I guess it all worked out in a way. Yeah. 
All right, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, yeah, it took a long time and a lot of struggle for me to make this episode happen. I hope you enjoyed, and if you enjoyed it, be so kind as to leave a comment. Um, and I see you next time when I march into this similar looking land of Kazakhstan. Yeah, along with the Russians and Americans at their side. Uh, it'll be exciting. A lot of fireworks. Alright, see you next time.